Speaking of friendship, on, on some sides, there's been stronger bonds that have been made, uh, particularly Kwame and J. Chris. <laughs> what led to this bromance, Kwame? Okay, so let me start from where it began. Um, before we um, came on PM Extra um, at a hotel, J. Chris and I bonded so much. Mm. And then coming into the house, what people um, were seeing is that um, any time before Martin came, any time I'm down and all that, I see J. Chris, I do talk to him a lot. Then I don't know what happened when the whole um, JJD Everly brother thing started happening, and then it was like we were apart, but then it was all off camera. So um, the night I was evicted, he came to me with Hermes, and then it was like, bro, I don't have anything against you, and I also said same. So it, was, it, it wasn't that serious, mm -hmm. but then I mean, if you come for me, I will come for you. Okay. We, like, if you're my friend or not, I would come for you. So it was more of that for me. So coming back, when I had a call to come back, I was like, yo, um, I don't have anything against you. And I appreciate when leaving, you came to me that, bro, even after the show, we are together. Mm -hmm. So I thought it wise. And then not I just thought it wise. I felt it, was, it felt correct to still come to my brother and um, have that um, brotherly vibe. So, mm. yeah. But you two seem to think that the root cause of the issues between the Everly Brothers or JJDs, as you like to call them, is the ladies. Where Rose and Darling, as you call them, are Delilah's. Um, Delilah and daughter of Delilah. <laughs> but you went ahead to also describe Rose as Lilith. Oh, no, Lilith. Daughter of Lilith, yeah. Daughter yeah. of Lilith. Yeah. Why? And what, what did you mean by daughter of Lilith? Okay. You, you need to give some context to it. Yes, I would do. Okay, so um, with whatever that's happening, mm. I'll see, let me say this and say the, uh, it again. I'm not going to fake anything. Um, Rose knows uh, when we get there, we can vibe and all that. But then if it's not good, it's not good. With what I've observed so far before leaving the show and coming back, um, she has this side that is kind of bitter, mm -hmm. very bitter. And relating that to certain things, like me being Kwame, I love um, giving names just at the um, lighter side, not too seriously. So if I said, that, that's so, a little hard. So, so if I said Lilith, it's not like Lilith, but then with what I'm seeing, the character. It's not cool. Okay. Lilith. So let me, let me give an example. The first wife of Adam, Lilith, a demonic character. Lilith. Uh, yeah, um, she's maybe. a demonic figure in Jewish folklore. Lilith. Mm. Some consider the official, first official witch. Lilith has many vast descriptions across different folklore in many cultures. Why Lilith? Why consider her... To a large extent, using folklore, demonic. What what led you Which to Which I said earlier, it uh -huh. wasn't that serious. But with what she's doing, okay. What so let me give. What is she doing to necessitate? Exactly. That? Let me give example. Mm. When I came to the house just recently, I um, they said uh, one person is to um, top choco, and then if you do breakfast in the morning, you're not eating anything else. But if you have banku. You can eat your banku without you know having any problem. Okay. So okay, fine. Let me eat banku. Now, when she saw me taking the banku, she was like, "Why are you eating? Why are you going? What are you going to eat? No, mm. Let me explain myself. I, I'm, I'm, what are I'm you going to, to eat it. with the banku? Yes. Now I was like, "Of course, pepper." Then she said, "I shouldn't grind pepper." Mm -hmm. Then my, the, <laughs> then I was like, "Why?" Then she said, "No, because." things was being calculated mm -hmm. but i remember the first day i came the next day we all ate banku and they even reserved it for her we prepared um, we grinded pepper and used protein so um, with what Hermes said i'm not here to pick sides 
I've seen a lot, and with what she's doing, mm. it's 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 not fair. You you say you don't want to pick sides, but you clearly did. I mean, uh, referring to them as the Delilahs and Samsung's lies, meaning they're the weakness of the gentleman, and they're out for their ruin. That's what if I you, saw. If you, if you want to be context, if you want to contextualize it, you are basically stating that Rose and Darling are going to be the cause of the ruin of Drill and Jason. Not are going to be the cause, but that's what I saw when I came in. J. Chris came to me uh -huh. and spoke to me about the whole thing that was happening okay. between him and the brothers. And you felt they were the equation and I was that was destroying him, it. I asked him, I didn't feel, but I was like, What do you think is happening? Mm. Is he the boys or is the wives? All right. Then he said, uh, It might be the wives because since Hermes came, uh -huh. things changed. And then um, I thought she wasn't a problem. But then I felt and I saw Rose has this voice mm. that if she talks to them, they would listen regardless. Okay. Now, yes. now, three men are having their problems, clearly. Three gentlemen are having their problems. Whether it, it stems from misunderstanding, whether it's a miscommunication, something of the sort. But is the women that are being blamed? That was my honest opinion. I wasn't blaming any woman. I was, if what, what you he can, can did. No wait. If he said, I was like, is it them or um, Rosie and Darlene? Uh -huh. And then to uh, me, per what I saw, I felt they they might be the problem more than that. It Three was my men opinion. Are having their problems. With. Okay, I didn't. I didn't um, come to him uh -huh. to ask that what's happening. Okay, I was there and he came. And Based I on your observation, opinion. you felt that the women exactly. were the issue. Yeah, that's what I saw. It's, it, it's not the truth. That's my opinion. Uh, that, that is your opinion? Yes, but that's what that, I saw. That, does it? Okay, so let's just, let, hypothetically, three men are having their problems. Three men have three different relationships they're all in. And it would seem as if, in your opinion, two out of those relationships may have been influencing or the three partners in those relationships are influencing the gentlemen doesn't necessitate referring them to say delilah's or referring them to daughters of lilith as i said it was i was asked Kwame. okay da, 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 da. you, you, you may please you come. can come in if you want okay so um with what he said mm. no sorry with the question you're asking yes. with the problem being between the three boys. Yeah. The real problem is Jason, Drill, Dalian, Rose. Rosie. I don't think, I think the problem is they've not accepted Hermes for who she is. And mm -hmm. that's the problem. She being a confrontational person. Do you think they're still hung up on what was the original setting? And the original setting being you gentlemen but with Darling, Rose, and Tessie as the equation. Do you think they still hang up on that setting enough that they can't see and accept Hermes as the new equation? Honestly, I don't know, because if, if I say yes, then meaning maybe they were faking it, because at the start they were really cool with her, and then it just switched all of a sudden, and then it doesn't even make sense to me. Mm. You, you stated at some point this week that you felt the ladies were jealous or envious, I'll use the right word, envious of Hermes to an extent. I stated that. Well, it was implied. Um, um, you, you had a conversation with Kwame um, earlier on, and it was implied to a large extent that there was some, there may be some envy amongst the ladies to the kind of person that Hermes is. Do you think that is, at the very crux of it, the issue? I mean, it could be, it could be envy, if you mm. think about it, because I don't know what she has done wrong, okay. seriously. All right, I well, don't see the... Bug. Let's take a look at this. And she was like, oh, she was too, she's happy. 30 minutes later, back to attitude, I'm like, hey. Mm -hmm. So that will tell you something. So then probably they want Hamis out of the picture before everything could be. 
kind of back. Hey, no, that thing too won't happen. But what did she do? Me, I won't know. Say she will confront you. Confront her, unless maybe they, they see her as a threat. Unless maybe envy is part, because if envy is part, fine. Yeah, that's how I see it. Envy is somewhere, somewhere. Maybe not from the boys, from the girls. Maybe they are the influencers. Because boys, we're not who they care about sometimes. But how people they care now, guy, I don't know. Maybe the influence is from the girls. Or maybe the boys, you never know, Charlie. Yeah, maybe too. You never know. This one's, I don't know what to think. Hmm, the issue of envy. Let me bring the gentleman, the other gentleman, to the conversation. Uh, unless you'd like to address something, Jay Chris. Okay. Um, Drill and Jason. Did you know about um, the names that were being uh, ascribed to your ladies over the week? Nope. 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 How do you nope. feel hearing about that? And do you feel that the ladies are influencing you? to change the dynamics of your relationship um okay aj so let's 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 just be real we are in, let's just be real everyone here almost everyone has had an issue with her before with her maze with her maze. when um tessie was way back with jerry i don't think you ever saw us have issues if you think about it I remember Jerry um, and Hermes had a problem. Jerry came to us and like, oh, this. I called Tessie and her, him too, so we talk about it, so it would be okay. And it wasn't even big issues. Mm. They were just like minor issues. Mm. So we've never had everyone here, everyone, almost everyone has had a problem with her. During the bathroom scenario, mm. all the girls that spoke are now her friends, but mm. she doesn't know they spoke mm. are now her friends. They all have a problem with it. I've had instances where some people say stuff and they just, when they see it, they just pretend like they haven't said stuff, anything mm. about it. So everyone here has a problem with it. The, the two of us, people, we hear people say, oh, they are controlling you, they are doing this, you're doing that. Me, I treat my girl the way I wanted to treat me. And he has his own way of living with him. She complains about how a man treats him. She does complain, and she has made complaints before. Hermes. Yes, Hermes, she has made complaints before and seen a whole lot of stuff. So if at the end of the day, we all sit here and pretend, everyone here, so one time when we were talking to you, we were talking about hypocrisy, right? That everyone in the house is a hypocrite, except Hermes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, no, he didn't say it. He said, people are hypocrites. And I'm like, yo, everyone in this house is a hypocrite. We've all said stuff behind people before. Mm -hmm. Even Hermes, he said, oh, he doesn't think Hermes is a hypocrite. I'm like, yo, she does stuff, and later when she sees someone doing it, she complains about it. So everyone in the house is a hypocrite, including me. Mm. And now we sit here and everyone pretends, oh, you, you are Give hearing new, someone say something new. Yeah, right you are hearing someone say this, you are hearing someone say that. AJ, I won't lie. I've said stuff about people over here before. But as time goes on, we get to know people. Including your brothers? No, not, not um, about him. Not with him. But about Jason. Yeah, I've even, I've even spoken to Jason about issues before mm. and him. And with um, Tessie, it got to a time, I don't know, Tessie, you remember the time you won HOH? You were very angry during that period. Of time. Um, I was angry at her and I was like, oh, why is Tessie acting like I said stuff. Oh, I, this is not the Tessie I know. Like, why is Tessie? I said all this. Right. But later she changed and I'm like, ah, oh, God, thank God, Tessie's back. Mm. So we've all said stuff about people over here. And things that cameras have into what's captured. We've all planned stuff before that cameras hasn't captured. So if we all sit here and pretend no one here has ever done that, it's a very big lie. And we all are hypocrites. That's what I can say. Jay Chris, you wanted to address something? Yeah, so he made mention of me saying, um, except Hermes. Mm -hmm. That's not what I said. I said, except Jessica. I said, I don't know if Jessica has said anything about anybody. Right. But... Ex if there's a video you can play. Mm. And I made mention of passive comments, not talking about people behind them. Passive comments. That's what I said. 
Now, Joe made an, uh, an interesting comment that it seems as if everyone else has an issue or has had an issue with her maze. Why do you feel, at least to ask, if everyone seems to have a problem with that person in particular, why do you think everyone else must be the problem except for the person in, in, in question? I think we should ask what I think we should Those ask. Those issues are. Yeah, what the problems they've had with her are. Adrian. Adrian, okay. can I come in, please? Please. Okay. So, Drew said everybody has had a problem with me. Now, I've been in this house. I never had a problem with Tracy. I never had a problem with Efia. I never had a problem with Kwame. I've never had a problem with Martin. I've never had a problem with Droid. I've never had a problem with Jessica. I've never had an issue with Jason whereby we've bantered. I and Drew, we've never bantered, except the, when I heard that he said something like this. Now, I and um, Dalkey, we've had an issue, and we've sorted it out. That was days ago. Tessie and I, I never had an issue with her until she was not mentioning my name. She wasn't calling me by my name when I came in at first. Mm -hmm. And then she corrected me and said, it's because my name was a bit hard for her right. to yes. pronounce. Right. So if we had to even put that aside, I have never had an issue with Tessie. And then I went to Tessie to apologize and told her that, see, um, it might be that, okay, fine. I, did, I, I was selfish and did not think like this because I thought maybe she had an issue with me and then that was why she wasn't calling me by my name. Right. But after sudden and making it clear to me that it's just because my name was hard to come, like to mention, then I never had an issue with the girl. So if he is to say that everyone, have I had an issue with you, Judah? No, I've not had an issue so with Judah what, either. What, what do you think is a problem that Drill and Jason have with you? I don't know what their issue is, but mine is, if something happens now, I'm someone to talk about it now. I would not wait to go talk about it later. Because if I don't talk about it later, mm -hmm. I'm going to get more angry. And I'll see the person and react a certain type of way. Right. But the people that I've had issue, Delki, which I've had an issue with, after we settled, I come and talk to you, right? Mm -hmm. Um, although um, Tessie was not mentioning, um, calling me by my name, when she started calling me by my name, she didn't even, at first, there was no sorry said. But when I needed help with my fashion, I didn't care that you are not calling me by my name. I still came to her and said, please help me out with my, to, to do this. Do you understand? So yeah. then that is it. If I have an issue with you, I sort it there and then. Now, I'd like you to ask the people that he's saying that everybody I've had an issue with. Darlene, I had an issue with her. Um, it was, at first, it was even Jakers that had an issue, and then they called me. And, and then that was when I spoke about my issue. Mm. Apart from that, Darlene and I, that was it. Mm. So if he's saying something, then he can say that, okay, then I've had an issue with Delki, I've had an issue with Darlene, and now I'm having an issue with Rose. If you had to leave these three people out, you can tell me that out of 13 people or even Lucky came, I never had an issue with him. So that is a lie. Now, let me say this. Judah has been in the house for barely two weeks. But then, recently, he even said something whereby he noticed that somebody is, n is not happy with people when it comes to tax. Martin also even said it that day that um, there is someone here that even when they won the tax, he wanted to go shake the person. And then the person did not um, extend the who, greeting. Who was this person? Rose. Okay. Rose is never happy with anybody. If somebody wins a tax, she's never happy. She always has something to say every single time. She's never happy for anybody. And then to me, I feel like if you start getting happy for people right. when, if you start getting happy for people when they actually win certain things, maybe you actually start winning certain things. Okay. Um, AJ. Dr and, and I'll ask this both to you and, and Jason. What is your problem with Hermes? AJ, so yes. like I said, I didn't say everyone. I said almost everyone. Okay. So when I say this, I mean, when we, you see the bathroom issue right. when everyone is standing there. Everyone there spoke about it. Everyone there said something about it. Mm. Everyone in the bathroom at that moment said something about it. When things happen, maybe she's standing somewhere doing something. Mm. This girl, cry. everyone, everyone, almost mm. everyone, sorry. Almost everyone has something to say what, about it. But they don't. They just, oh, let's. Mm. Everyone, almost everyone mm. has something to say about it. That's why I said almost, not everyone. But let's and talk about, let's, let's, let's delve into the, the, the biggest issue you have with Hermes. And then I'll come to you, to, to how you feel knowing that 
your guy basically it, it feels that your lady that you're with may be more likened to Lilith than anything else. I'm more likely to. Uh, well, I'm more linked to Lilith based on, in his view, their influence on you. But what is your biggest issue with her, Mace? I don't have an issue with her. At all? I've, I do not have an issue with her. Okay. But my issue is, so my issue is, mm -hmm. she, um, she, when she, since she came into the brotherhood, there's always fire on the mountain. Why? And I don't know why. That's the thing. Okay. There's always a problem somewhere. Mm. And Caused by because food. I don't understand. He came, I, there was this one time he came to us and he was like, mm. what if one of our girls make us, he asked that um, we are going to have a fight. There will be a fight between us or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, why did this guy um, ask this question? Because it's like, since you asked that question, I've been thinking about it. So maybe you've planned something. Or you've, um, you, are, you are cooking something mm -hmm. and it's... Because all of a sudden, we were just there. Nothing has happened and yeah. just came. Um, there will be a fight and this is, I don't know what he was trying to say. Then... AJ, in AJ that I way, said, what if... I did not see what he's saying. I did. I, did, I said, what if. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I was like, ah. When, and within that week, within that week, then that's when the problem started. With him, we never had an issue with him. Because whatever happened in the bathroom... We never had an issue with him. Then he was passing and I called him, oh, Jerry, come. He didn't mind me. And I'm like, oh, nice. So I don't, so we, we not talking started from him. Mm. Him not, we not talking started from him. So when I called him that he didn't mind me, and I'm like, okay, then let's stay in our, our corner. When That's did it. you call me, please? J Jason, you were there, right? You saw me call him. No, what I did didn't you do? say Jason wasn't there. I said, when did you call me? When was that? Was it last, this week or, or? Yeah, so the day before they went on the date thing, I called him and he just passed by. He looked at me and, and I thought he was by. coming to me. He came down and he passed by. And I'm like, wow. So okay. Jason was standing there. Jason was standing there when yeah. that happened. I said, ah, Jason, did you see that? He said, yes. And I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Jason. Do you think the reason that you're not as close as you would be with J. Chris now it's because of her mates. And if so, why? First of all, I don't have a problem with her. Right. Maybe if she thinks I, I do, I don't. You don't. Yeah. And um, for me, uh, I have a, um, I really don't know if um, she is a cause. But then he has, um, he has actually changed. And mm. we don't talk like the way we used to and we mm. don't um, play mm. like the way we used to. That's all, all I can say. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about the names or how do you feel hearing those names attributed to your woman? Yeah, is it? Well, Lilith, uh, Delilah, to your Samsons. <laughs> something new. Every um, mean like week or something. He he has a name for us, so uh, we are ready. So okay. Uh, so you think it's more of Kwame's origin and, and, and nothing to do with that. But let me bring Droid and Jessica into this conversation because uh, you you've had like ringside views to all that's been happening. Uh, but J. Chris made an observation that you two seem to understand her maze in a way that nobody else can or seems to in the house. What do you understand? What, what about her is... What have you come to understand about her that all, all other people, um, namely Drill, Jason, and maybe the other members of the Brotherhood, cannot or have not understood? Thank you. I believe that we didn't have to do much. Mm. All there was was um, listen to her speak. Okay. And listen to J. Chris speak. Okay. And we came to the whole understanding that she's one, a confrontational person. Mm -hmm. She wants to speak to you about things, immediately happens. And I believe that we don't have everyone 
on a good page when it comes to people coming to them, immediately right. things happen. They want to have some space, they talk about it later on. Mm. But myself, I'm such a person, just guys equally the same kind of person. So it was actually on the easy side for us to understand her on, on that level that she would want to speak about it there and then. I believe that there was a time we, we came close to having an issue, but then she was able to speak to me there and then. Mm. And then it squashed it. Okay. So that is the main point where we are able to understand her because she's a confrontational person. And then when she's speaking, um, if you are not so calm with her, you won't understand her. Mm. And I don't think that is necessarily the fault of anyone not understanding her, but if you are able to see her from where she's from, it would make it a little bit easy. Do you think the other members of the group, the Brotherhood, are misunderstanding? Um, that I have nothing to say about. Okay. As I'm saying, I understand her. Okay. And my woman understands her equally. Right. And so how we understand her might not be the same level with the other people, but I don't know for mm. that. Okay. Jessica, let me get your thoughts on that. Well, I think Droid has said it all. She's just a confrontational person. And then, I don't know, but I understand her. First, I used to think she complains a lot, but then now I get her because every time someone says something, she wants to defend herself and all that. Mm -hmm. But when you get close to her and she speaks, you get to know she doesn't mean any harm. She's just trying to, I mean, let you know what she wants and then mm -hmm. let you understand her as well. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring the two ladies in question in it. Uh, uh, <laughs> How do you feel knowing that you are being referred to as that? And also, do you feel that you have undue influence on your men, which is affecting the dynamic of their relationship with Jay Chris? Bruce? Um, AJ, I've said here before and I'll say again, these men are very old men and they know, they know how to make decisions for themselves. Mm. If they have problems, they know how to go about it. I'm not one to come and tell them what to do. Maybe I'd have a say here and there, but it's really up to them to say that, okay, I'm taking what you're saying or not. Mm. And the issue was she thinking that <laughs> people don't have problems with her. The thing is, I understand if you want to call yourself a confrontational person, but you know, when people have issues with you, they, in their heads they know that if they come speak to you, you will just shout mm. and you'll be all over the place and you'll let people rest. So they wouldn't say it. But again, I'm not one to come and sit here and say, she said, he said. We are all old enough to know when we have problems with people. And if you cannot tell them, I'm not the one to tell her. So if she thinks that everyone is fine with her, that's okay. And with a little thing, I want to applaud Kwame for the effort he puts into giving us names every time, every now and then. It's beautiful to see that he watches us and he sees us. Mm. We appreciate you. But sometimes when you're going about your words, maybe you should consider certain things, you know? You don't call people. Do you even understand the meaning? Did you understand until AJ said it? Or you knew? You didn't. You say things that you do not understand. I know. And because you think it fits whoever you're, you're talking about, you just say them. Maybe from now onwards, you should think about certain things that she say and certain names that she give people. You don't just open your mouth and say things. You don't All call right. me a demonic person. You don't relate me to something that you cannot handle if it is put in front of you. So maybe, just maybe, watch the things that she say and the names that she call people. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so Rosie, yeah. I called, um, which I said earlier, it's more on a lighter note. I called her Aphrodite. I called him King, uh, Prince of um, Justice, and I gave myself his use. So it's just more like a character play I was doing. That's your business. Okay. But then again, keep us out of your character play. If you think you're a producer or you're, you're a play writer, yeah. you should write your plays without us. The fact that you feel the need to involve us is yeah. hilarious. Don't, I don't get do you. it again. In hindsight, okay. in hindsight, do you think it deserves an apology, perhaps? Does it? Okay, she didn't take it well, okay. so it does. So, Rosie, I'm sorry for calling you Lilith and Delilah <laughs> and daughters of Lilith. 
and Delilah's. I'm sorry, it's not that deep. It's just a character play. So I don't see you. Yeah, I, I, I get her. It's fine. Um, it's not everybody that takes jokes well. Mm. I have dark humor, and okay. then this a part of it. So I'm sorry for calling you Delilah okay. and daughter of Lilith or Lilith. Um, it's not that like Indeed. that. You right. understand? So okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. I just hope it doesn't happen again. So. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, 